We get a lot of people, they always wanting to know what's the difference between affiliate marketing and digital marketing. So I wanted to touch on that today to put everybody on the same page and give you some clarity on that. So if that sounds like something that you, you're interested in, definitely drop your questions down in the comments below. And this is also going to be on replay. So even if it's a replay, I'll still receive the notifications when you drop those questions and or comments. And I always reply back, you guys. The best way I can probably explain it to you guys. So we know affiliate marketing, if you don't know, I explain. But overall, in general, affiliate marketing is some company, some business or some brand uh, already has all the products. They have the landing pages. They have the funnels. Everything is set up for you and you sign up to become an affiliate for that company and they give you a unique link that's only cookie to you. So a cookie is when someone click it, clicks on that link they give you after you become an affiliate, um, the cookie can identify everybody who clicked your link and it knows if they, make a pur if they make a purchase, give you credit for the commissions. That's the general idea of affiliate marketing. Digital marketing, the general idea is you're marketing online. So affiliate marketing, you're marketing, but you're sending people to somebody else's done for you products and everything. They've done all the heavy lifting for you. Digital marketing basically means you might be in business for yourself and you're taking on all the responsibilities. You're creating the products, you're creating the landing pages, you're doing all the marketing, the, the traffic and all of those things yourself. But I want to say this before I get too deep in them into everything digital marketing is really both of them because in order to be successful with affiliate marketing you have to be it you have to know um some things about digital marketing even if that company has done a lot of stuff for you up front what most affiliate marketing companies leave out and that's for you to handle yourself they may help you with the process of it and give you pointers and tips but ultimately you have to get traffic and you have to you have to convert the traffic into buyers. Only thing they're giving you, hey, you don't have to create the product, we got it. You don't have to create the landing pages, we got it. We even give you email sequences for your email autoresponder. Um, we'll help you set everything up, give you all the resources and tools and everything you need, but you gotta send the people here. Because the whole point of affiliate marketing businesses was like, hey. We can cut back on our advertising fees, our advertising budget by hiring uh, affiliates to promote it for us on our behalf and we pay them a percentage of our profits, all right? So that's the point. It defeats the purpose if they do the traffic for you too, right? They might as well just go do their own paid ads like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or YouTube all the different type of ad platforms. They're trying to cut back on that, all right, because they're paying way more, but they're making enough money to where they can pay you if you convert, if you send someone that makes a purchase, all right? So that's what you have to under understand about affiliate marketing. They're, they're doing all of the front end stuff for you, but you have to send traffic. But digital marketing, you got to do it all, right? <laughs> so you got to create your digital product and a digital product could be a, a ebook, it could be templates, it could be guides, it could be uh, music, anything that could be digitally transferred over the internet, or over Wi-Fi, through email, through download, anything like that. Um, you have to create all of those things and then you got to do the marketing to uh, turn those products into profit. So you have to get people to come to your website. Uh, give you that email address. You got to create the email campaigns that get triggered to automatically uh, deliver whatever they're signing up for. And then um, going on social media, promoting it that way, or some people even are become good at digital marketing by, by doing paid ads, all right? So either way you look at it, you need both of them, but digital marketing as a whole is the general idea of it, all right? So that's the main difference between affiliate marketing and digital marketing. Digital marketing is your more hands-on affiliate marketing. Mainly, they've done everything for you. You just got to deliver the traffic, right? What everybody struggles with is traffic, okay? And traffic is basically marketing. You won't get traffic unless you start, start marketing. So we're sold, let's say for example, on affiliate marketing, we're sold on the idea of you don't need to have any products. You don't need any inventory. 
they tell you these things like, oh man, all you got to do is put in two hours a day or two hours a week or whatever. You don't have to show your face. You won't have to create the funnels. We're going to give you the email campaigns. You're going to be able to join our community and we're going to help you and all this stuff. Right. Yeah, I get it. But you still got to get that traffic. And the traffic comes from marketing. Now, with technology out and everything that's going on today, there's so many cool ways that I wish we had, that I wish I had when I first started that you guys have access to. But even those come with their cons. For example, you don't have to go on social media anymore and show your face or even display your voice. There's faceless marketing now. You could put out faceless content. You could put out faceless videos on all the social media platforms. Um, there's AI that'll do blogs for you and you don't have to show your face with blogs that are automatically generated for you. But with every solution, I want y'all to understand this, with every solution comes a new problem. So this is what they don't tell you about AI. And I'm not to say, not to say nothing bad about AI, I'm just using this as an example, but AI has tons of pros, but it also has cons. All right, so say, I don't want to show my face on social media. All right, well, one, people connect with people. They convert faster when they're actually seeing and hearing and engaging with an actual human. They see your face. They, they know who you are. They can identify and resonate with you and connect with you because you're a human. When you remove the human and add AI technology with AI voices and stuff like that, um, you make it harder for people to connect with you. Therefore, you have to be exceptionally skilled at putting out content using AI and have a framework that you can use to where you can still connect with people even though you're at AI. So you're going to have to probably work two or three or five or maybe 10 times as hard as a person who's actually going on social media and showing their face. Second, if you were to use AI instead of um, actually going on social media, you're going to have to, uh, if you don't already, if you don't already uh, know how, assuming that you don't, especially if you're a beginner, you're going to have to learn how to use all the AI softwares. So you're going to have to learn how to create good prompts on ChatGPT. You're going to have to have to learn AI softwares like Descript and HeyGen and NVIDIA and things like that. You're gonna to have to learn how to use those softwares and also invest in those softwares because you can only go so far with the free versions. They come with their own limitations and that's gonna hinder your growth and your success because you're trying to grow on social media with AI for free versus somebody else who's going on social media and they don't have to bother with AI. All they have to do is just cut on the camera and start recording and start talking. Your process is different. So a person who's on social media showing their face, right? They're going to be able to put out more content versus you, especially if you just started with the AI is going to take you a whole lot longer, right? Because you can't just press record. You have to create the script. You have to get voices. You have to do the software. You got to find B-roll and images. You got to have music, all this other stuff versus like what I'm doing right now, I could just go live. Like one of the biggest pros of digital marketing is if you're selling your own digital products, your own services or whatever, you stand out from the rest of the crowd. So my main my main course is called the Affiliate Income Network System, and I can promote and market that and separate myself from everybody else who's doing it because they don't have it. So I can I can promote the features and the benefits of my actual course that nobody else has instead of. Um, me promoting somebody else's course within affiliate marketing that a lot of other affiliate marketers are promoting as well with the same tools, same resources, same strategy, everything. So I'm going to blend in with them. And the only way I can stand out is that I have to be exceptionally good with my faceless affiliate marketing strategy or my organic being in my videos strategy. But the con is, it comes with a lot more work. I have to create my products. I have to make sure that the product that I'm creating is people at, that is a product that people actually want. I have to create a strategy behind it. I have to figure out who's my buyer avatar and all those things and make sure that I'm helping them 
and it matches up with what they need to get them from point A to point B to point Z. So that is the kind of that. So I have to build it all from scratch. Now, me over the years, I've learned that um, it, you don't try and build it all at once. You build it piece by piece by piece. I don't just create an entire course. When I create an entire course, it's I've accumulated a lot of knowledge um, from the people that have engaged with my content and they've told me what they needed. So I create the product for them because it's already in demand. I know that they want it. It's not me just throwing stuff out there and seeing what stick and hope to, and hope that people buy it. I don't even create stuff that I'm passionate about because passion doesn't sell. A solution sell. People pay for stuff they need. They pay for it because they're getting something out of it. They'll see the they'll see the value in it because it's helping them achieve something that they want. So it doesn't matter how much I like something, how much I'm interested in something. If they're not searching for it on social media when I do my research, if people aren't asking me about it, if people aren't DMing me about it, if my coaches and my students, uh, I'm sorry, if my uh, my clients and my students on inquiring about it or struggling in a certain area about it, I won't produce the product. So we're in the business of solving problems. The biggest question is, should I, should I do affiliate marketing or should I do digital marketing? It's just a matter of where you're at, okay? You have to be realistic with yourself. And you can always branch out and go and do other stuff on your own. If you're just starting out, you wanna keep it uh, realistic where you're at until you get closer to where you're at, to where you can do a little bit more things. Which one should I choose, Ronnie? Should I do affiliate marketing or digital marketing, digital products? If you're not tech savvy, you don't have a lot of time, you don't have a lot of money, it's a lot of stuff that's, that's a lot of obstacles and challenges right now that's stopping you, I wouldn't try and create my own business from scratch. I would leverage somebody else's own products that's already created and made and become skilled with that product and learn from ever, learn more about that product and promote it to the people that I that would connect to me the most. Right, it's going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time because they already have the strategies in place um, on how to how to get you from point A to point B and you'll be ahead of the curve. All right. The only thing you will have to worry about is, like I said, traffic how do i tell people about what i have that would be the most interested in purchasing it that would be your only problem that you would have to solve